Hello everyone. My name is Taro Kajihama in Nakashima Propeller, and I belong to the Propeller and ESD department. And uh, today, let me explain about our technologies for you. And today's title is Challenges for Zero Emission. These are the today's contents, GPX propeller and energy saving device and hard design and smart aging. First of all, uh, let me explain about GPX propeller. And maybe you think, what is GPX? And GPX is our product name, and we design the best propeller for each ship, and uh, this is called GPX. And this is a sample picture of GPX propeller. And we designed the GPX propeller to use these technologies, know-how vortex and small build area and chip break. First, uh, let me explain about the know-how vortex technology. Um, you can see uh, the how vortex cavitation like this behind the propeller cap like this. And uh, to use the know-how vortex technology, uh, we can uh, reduce the strength of the hard vortex cavitation like this. Hard vortex cavitation is the same meaning as uh, energy loss. So uh, this non hard vortex technology can improve the efficiency and recover the energy loss. And next, uh, small weather area technology. If we design the small weather area propeller, as a frictional resistance will be decreased. And compared with the conventional propeller, our GPX is uh, much smaller, uh, small bread, uh, much smaller bread area. Um, but unfortunately, if we, when we design the small bread area propeller, uh, the cavitation volume and the cavitation pattern and uh, hard vibration level uh, is getting worse. Then uh, we have developed the chip rake technology. This chip rake technology enables the uh, hard vortex, uh, no, no, no uh, cavitation volume and the cavitation pattern and the uh, hard vibration level uh, getting better. And also, we have the uh, powerful CFD, which has 5,000 cores. And we can accurately estimate the cavitation pattern and cavitation volume and hard vibration level and also uh, propeller efficiency. Uh, this is the cavitation simulation result. And uh, you can see the cavitation pattern like this. And in the past, we could confirm the cavitation pattern only in the model test. But recently, we can calculate the cavitation pattern like this. So this is our strong point. And next, uh, let me explain about the energy saving device. The main objective to install the ESDs is uh, to recover the energy loss. And there are many kinds of energy losses in the after part of the uh, hull, uh, like this. So we categorized uh, uh, three zones, zone one, zone two, zone three, like this. <clears throat> in zone one, uh, we developed the duct, and in zone two, we developed the ca propeller cap. In zone three, we developed the uh, ultimate rudder bulb. In zone one, we have developed the duct called neighbor duct. And the concept of the neighbor duct, to use, duct is to use uh, the hull side flow like this. And this leading edge of the duct can generate the duct thrust. And we, can, we could calculate, it, calculate uh, the CFD as well. And you can see the red part of the leading edge of the duct. And this part can generate the duct thrust. And this is a picture of the neighbor duct for actual ship. And the neighbor duct can improve the efficiency about 4% to 7%. In zone two, we developed the echo cap. These videos uh, indicate the 
difference between normal cap and echo cap. And this, this video shows the uh, flow. And water flows from the fo uh, forward side to after side. And uh, this flow concentrates the center part of the propeller cap, and this makes uh, the ha strong hub vortex cavitation. On the other hand, echo cap have seven fins like this, and these seven fins can diffuse the flow like this. And this is the uh, echo cap for actual shape. And this echo cap can improve the efficiency about 1% to 3%. And in zone 3, we developed the ultimate rudder. In these two videos, uh, this is a comparison between normal rudder and ultimate rudder. And this video shows the strength of turbulent energy. You can see the red part like this. This part is the same meaning as a strong uh, turbulent energy part. And this is the same meaning, strong uh, energy loss part. On the other hand, in the ultimate rudder videos, you cannot see the red part. And so ultimate rudder valve can recover the energy, energy loss. And this is a picture for, uh, of ultimate rudder for the actual ship. And this ultimate rudder can improve the efficiency about 3% to 6%. And next, uh, let me explain about the hull design. And this slide shows the important points of hull design. The bow part, four side bow part, is uh, strongly related with uh, hull resistance, especially the wave resistance. And in the bow part, we have to design the hull and uh, some ESGs and propellers. The combination between them is very important for the efficiency. Especially in the stern part, is very important for the efficiency. We uh, design the hull line and propeller and some ESDs at the same time. This is called integrated design. Regarding the uh, hull resistance, a V shape is better than the U shape. But recently, uh, the competition of the efficiency is getting severe and severe. So in general, uh, install uh, some ESGs to the hull. And uh, for example, when the duct is installed to the hull, the, we should design uh, to consider the combination between hull and duct. In total, the U-shape and duct is much better than the V-shape. And we can calculate the CFD and the streamline by CFD. So we can propose you the total optimization for energy saving. And let's take a short break and uh, let me introduce our technologies for electric fan. Uh, electric fan is uh, very common use in Japan, uh, especially in the summer time. And we, we have the leading technology for body industry and uh, we have the leading technology for designing the propeller for marine industry. But we applied the te leading technology for not only the marine propeller, but also electric fan. And we can hear uh, the customer's voice. Uh, this breeze uh, is so comfortable that the babies can sleep well. And next, uh, let me explain about the smart aging. For the long time operation of the hull, maybe you cannot avoid aging issues. So uh, today, I want to propose you some solutions for aging issues. First, 
This is a proposal of the retrofit project. For long time, uh, for the long time, the uh, some decades, uh, two decades, uh, our proper design technology have been progressed gradually. So uh, compared with the past type of propeller, our GPX propeller's efficiency uh, is improved. And also compared with the past, the operation profile is different. So we design the GPX propeller to match the current operation condition. Uh, this is a sample case, uh, case one, case two, case three. We designed the GPX propeller for each cases. And in case one and case two, we changed the uh, MCR condition from original 100% to 70% uh, and uh, in case two, 85%. And in case three, this is the same MCR condition as the original propeller. And the amount of the energy sav saving is about 5% and 4% and 3% respectively. How is the impact of 5% for cost? For example, uh, if when you operate uh, about average 60% MCR, you can reduce about 300, 350,000 US dollars a year. And this slide shows the actual rhetoric project. We replace the propeller from original propeller to new GPX propeller. We redesigned the GPX propeller and the number of blades changed from six to five. And the diameter was the same, 88.1 meter. And the expanded area ratio was changed from 0.68 to 0.60. And also we installed the echo cap like this. In total, the efficiency could be increased, improved about 8% in total. And Maybe uh, you encounter the right running problem and uh, proper efficiency problem. Then I want to propose you the polishing. The proper surface roughness is getting worse the, like this. The uh, proper efficiency is getting worse and right running margin is getting less. And if you polish the proper surface, if we polish the proper surface, the, uh, this problem will be recovered. And this is a, a picture of before polishing, and this is a picture of after polishing. And this uh, is a proposal of edge cut. When you encounter the right running margin issue, we can propose you the edge cut. First, we calculate the cutting length and uh, determine the cut line like this. And we cut the uh, propeller trailing edge like this, and shape it. Then the proper right running margin will be recovered. And this is the cut pieces. And this is a very important uh, to determine the cut length. And we need know-how to cut these pieces. And we have many successful records to complete the edge cutting works. If you have some issues for the propeller efficiency and 
proper uh, right running margin issues. Don't hesitate to ask me many questions. That's all for my presentation. Thank you very much.